Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I've made a video. Um, I've been very busy working on the arrow rail system for all them pepper plants of mine, them 39 seedlings. Uh, they are in. There's six rails going. It got a little more complicated than I planned. Uh, I promise I'll be making a video. I'm working on a video now. Um, you know, it's got auto top off. Uh, it's got a, a hydro farm filtering system for water supply. It's got drain systems. It's it got way more complicated, but it makes it so much easier to maintain a system with that many plants. Oh, there's 39 plants in it, almost 40 plants. So uh, I'll be doing a video soon on that. On that note, I wanted to do a final video. I think it's going to be a final video on the uh, poblano uh, pepper and the jalapeno pepper plant here that's under the homemade metal uh, trash can light with the CFLs. As you can see, there it is. Uh, the growth is all over the place. Um, pretty much the root system has completely involved that entire uh, Rubbermaid tub there. Um, what I have uh, to show you uh, today is that the jalapenos, uh, some of them have been on the plant for a while, and that's what I was waiting for. They're starting to go to red. You can see the jalapenos are going to uh, red uh, now, which is nice. Um, I like to let some go to red. There's one there that's starting to turn. Uh, this plant is just loaded, and I can't even tell you how many peppers I've eaten off of this plant. I, I think this one plant, I'm close to 100 at this point, uh, jalapenos and it's still going now the problem is the poblano has gotten so huge that it's literally if you could see there it's literally pushed the uh, jalapenos right over this actually is the part of the poblano plant you can see the poblano, a couple peppers right there growing it's literally arched the jalapeno over and the jalapeno now is growing down almost to the floor just loaded with peppers still I mean, there's peppers everywhere on this thing. Um, I don't know if we could see up under here. There's, there's jalapenos everywhere. I think it's time to make poppers or something. There's some jalapenos there with a poblano right behind it. So the poblano has just shoved out the uh, jalapenos. So in the meantime, there's not much I can do. I'm just growing this thing. As long as it's going to flower and give me peppers, I'm going to grow it. Uh, the poblano is starting to go down to the ground because... Once again, there's peppers everywhere uh, hanging on the, the poblano growing. And what had happened, I got so many peppers, and there's still quite a few. If you can see there, some in there. Uh, sorry if the camera works shaky. But there's poblanos pretty much everywhere still. Dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, poblanos on this plant. And the plant, uh, like I said, is just out of control there's peppers hanging all over this thing um, I at one point what occurred was I had so many peppers that I, I did a harvest I don't know I got I want to say close to two dozen poblanos off this one plant uh, we ate them was eating them up was great I think I had so much fruit I don't even know if it's possible the plant literally like stopped flowering for a while once I cut all them poblanos off and uh, got rid of the real big mature ones and uh, these other ones started growing now you know I thought well this might be the end towards the end I got my other peppers going maybe I'll finish this one off well now and I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the uh, camera here if it's gonna get blurry on me or not but now I got buds coming out everywhere on the poblano again it's budding everywhere everywhere you look Let's see if we could see them there there's buds all over this plant again. So I'm going to have a lot more peppers coming, I'm for sure of that. So I've decided, well, let's keep her running. Now, um, I've seen a lot of guys online and stuff uh, going to what they call Buzz Paul Nation. Uh, one of the guys I subscribe to, and he uh, subscribes to me, uh, Slee Stacks Rules. Uh, has been doing it with his tomatoes. I've been doing it with my uh, peppers. And uh, I tell you what, it works great. This is a $5.00. Uh, Colgate toothbrush from uh, uh, Walmart. What you do is just turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that. But it uh, vibrates. Maybe you can see it on the... See, unfortunately, yeah, but it vibrates and what you do is you touch the flower 
and it uh, vibrates the pollen. It works extremely well. You get like 100% pollination. And I'd love to show it to you. The only problem is I have no open flowers yet to show you. At current moment, I literally don't have any flowers open. But I've had great success with uh, pollinating that way, and it's been very good. Um, a couple notes, since this is probably, I want to say it's probably going to be my last video because I'm, I'm planning on doing a lot of videos with the rail system. Uh, in hindsight, the deep water culture system is great. Uh, as you can see, it works well with uh, little effort, you know, just keep your newts uh, topped off with uh, some fresh water, check your pH, change out your newts, you know, once a week or so, 10 days, and you grow peppers everywhere you want them. Uh, under some CFLs, you know, like I showed you in my other videos, that's just uh, CFLs under there. Um, in hindsight, though, uh, if you're going to do a, a peppers in a deep water culture or anything deep water culture, it's going to have a large reservoir, which this reservoir only handles uh, five gallons of water, which you might say, wow, that's a lot, but let me tell you what, them two plants right there consume quickly five gallons of water, so it's like a constant top-off battle with just those two peppers. But if you're going to do a system like this, maybe you should incorporate, like in my uh, cucumber videos, my bucket systems, some type of uh, spigot or reservoir or something that you can swap out the uh, nutrient solution and change it out. Because what is happening now is the plants are so large, even though I got some structure under there holding them, that when I lift these off of that uh, Rubbermaid tub, lift them off with the lid, they literally just want to break and fall and go every which way because they're so heavy and the root mass underneath is so large that it's hard to handle moving them plants and back and forth without really hurting the plants. So I'm going as long as I can before it becomes an issue where they just snap and fall out of this lid here. Uh, but I would, uh, if you're looking at this system, I would definitely uh, think about doing something along that lines where you don't have to move the lid to change out the solution in the res. But as you can see, I got, like I said, I got my uh, poblanos doing great, the jalapenos, some going to red. I hope everyone's having a, a great growing season, whether you're starting uh, inside, outside. Um, I'm committed this year. I'm not doing any um, outdoor raised bed gardens. I'm going strictly hydro. Uh, for anyone interested about the cucumbers, I... Uh, Ended up harvesting uh, close to three dozen cucumbers from them two plants, but I got so busy with my rail system, and I, as everyone knows, I was having some type of spot, blight, maybe calcium deficiency. I tried many things to re resolve it. It didn't seem to work. The plants kept producing cucumbers, but to be honest, I, I, I got tired of, not tired, but it, it became too much work trying to self-pollinate from female to male. I am going to grow cucumbers again, but I'm going to get the uh, ones that don't need pollination. They just grow cucumbers, and I'm going to do those ones. So that's what happened with those. I broke them two down, and I'm probably going to turn them two buckets into a couple tomato uh, plants or something soon, So, because I still have the systems. So uh, quickly, uh, there it is. That's the uh, peppers. And... Um, you know, hopefully uh, everyone's having a great thing. Please subscribe. i got a lot more videos coming. And let's see if we can run over quickly and don't mind the camera work because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be bouncy and shaky. And I'll give you guys just a quick look here. There's the rail system. A quick, fast look. I'm not going to explain anything about it. There's the uh, reservoirs, the valves, the pump. Inside that bucket, I have a uh, hydro farm system with an auto top off that goes in there. Uh, here's everything with it. I am um, waiting on a bulb because I have an adjust a wing for a thousand watt uh, light fixture to come in. Uh, so there's the system, real quick. I even got a flow meter. Uh, tells me how much uh, water is being moved through the system and everything. I got a commercial air pump running uh, four or six air stones, big stones. Uh, so, quick video, there, there's this system. The plants recently went in. They're kind of got a little hurt because it took me so long to get them in. 
but they are up and running and they're finally starting to do better. There is some yellow leaves, but that's because they were just in them little peat pods forever. So uh, I'll get a video back out on these rails soon about everything about this system, which is quite incredible, actually, if I must say so myself. And um, please subscribe. Future videos coming about this, smoking some food and other hydro stuff. Uh, hope you all enjoy, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.